You know, one of the biggest things the world of entertainment, I, I've said this for a long time, one of the big things the world of entertainment has been sorely lacking in the last decade plus is a good dose of Mike Myers. We have desperately, terribly missed him. The entertainment world needs Mike Myers. I'm not even saying he's got to do Austin Powers 6, 7, 8, and 9. I'm just saying we need Mike Myers back. Now, a while ago, we heard whispers that there was going to be a Netflix series called The Pentaveret, which if you know Mike Myers' history, you know that The Pentaveret is a secret society of people who control the world, made up of the queen, Colonel Sanders. Ooh, you're going to buy my chicken. By the way, that's all comes from Mike Myers' film, So I Married an Axe Murderer, one of the greatest comedies of all time. But in a So I Married an Axe Murderer, Mike Myers' dad, played by himself, talks about this thing called the Pentaveret, and they decided to make an entire new show out of it. And the first trailer for the Pentaveret has dropped. Let me say a couple things here. First, this is a terrific idea. <laughs> this is such an amazing idea. Mike Myers doing a show about a secret society of five individuals who really actually control the world. Fantastic. Love it. Basing it on something and so I married an axe murder, even better. Fantastic. I love it. Uh, and it gets Mike Myers coming back, which is what we desperately need in this world. That being said, <laughs> the trailer is not great. Now, I have seen many trailers that I don't like, that I end up loving the movie or TV show. Harley Quinn was a trailer for a TV show, for a TV cartoon that I thought, I thought looked terrible. And now I'm passionately in love with that show. And maybe that could be the case here as well. And I certainly hope that it is. But if I'm going to be honest, even though Mike is one of the kings, one of the true Canadian princes, a prince of Canada, if there were such a thing, Mike Myers is it. And if it's going to be anybody to do something great, it's going to be him. But I got to say, guys, I watched this trailer I didn't so much as grin. Well, no, I, t I take that back. I take that back. There's a thing about the nudist colony joke. I, I admit, I, I, I cracked a grin on that one. But for the most part, I, I, I certainly didn't laugh. And maybe this is just an example of a very bad trailer to hopefully something that's going to be a good show. I, I, I Hopefully, fingers crossed. I've got a lot of hope for it. We need Mike Myers in this world. So... But I got to admit, the trailer did not super work for me. Chris, you just watched the trailer for it. What did you think of it? Oh, man. Well, I was happy to get a How I Married an Axe Murder refresher. And I love the idea of just taking the ramblings of Stuart McKenzie and going, no, let's say they're real. He's not just some conspiracy theorist. This is a real thing. Um, will they still meet triennially in Colorado? We're going to find out. <laughs> I'm kind of with you on this, though. This is a little lackluster, and I like the idea more than the execution of this. I'm hoping I like the execution of the entire show. And I'm a really big Keegan-Michael Key fan, too, so having him in this well, he also... Does, he looks... The first time I've seen him with hair. I know! He looks great! great. I'm, so I'm excited to see him in this. Ken, obviously, too, is hysterical. So I think we've got a real great comedy ensemble here. I'm hoping this is something, though, that once I sit down to watch the show, I'm really going to enjoy it, and that it goes back to that kind of zany comedy that we know and love from classic Mike Myers uh, projects. Rob, I know uh, you are also a, a fellow who loves my uh, my beloved Soy Mary Naxmer and Mike Myers. You're a big appreciator of Mike Myers. You had a chance to see this trailer. What did you think of it? Like you, John, I found this trailer to be sort of a crushing disappointment. I mean, I <laughs> I don't believe I don't believe I use the phrase crushing? crushing disappointment. Okay, well, I like but, that it's okay. sort of a crushing disappointment. <laughs> Like, okay. I hate it a little. Well, I mean, no, I, 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 I look, you know, I, I am a fan of, of, of Kubrickian comedy, like Dr. Strangelove. You know, I think Dr. Strangelove is one of the great satires, one of the great black comedies of all time. This, I would expect, because Mike Myers, I love Mike Myers' comedy, comic sensibility. And remember, even Mike Myers shows up in Inglorious Bastards. We were talking Tarantino yesterday on the movie club. And he plays a serious role in yes. that movie. And he's really good. And so I, I wanted to get something in these crazy times, the idea of a pentaveret existing. What an irresistible idea. And I think there's comedy gold to be mined there. This trailer 
does not point me in the direction of that comedy gold. Mm. Uh, I, I, I don't think I was, this is not the river that I should be panning in, at least for me now. Now, hopefully this is just the beginning. That meat thermometer joke, they, they, and you're supposed to end on a a good, a, a zinger, Mike. Uh, I think Mike did not end on his best line. And again, Mike Myers didn't make the trailer. I know it's, but, and, and that's why, like when we see stuff, but like he had that, to have approved it. No, he didn't. I, I guarantee you, he didn't have approval rights over marketing. Like 95% of the time, they don't have approval rights of my marketing. I don't know, man. I guarantee you, Mike Myers didn't have approval my <laughs> rights over the marketing. Not well, a chance. Somebody should have. But, but you're right. I mean, but this is why I think we often get trailers that are completely subpar or sometimes feel out of step with the show or the movie. It's, it's because we often got to remind ourselves these trailers are made by people who are not the people who actually make the, the content. So that's why, even though I, I, while I wouldn't call this trailer a crushing disappointment, I was let down by it, and 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 I, it was not what I was hoping to see. But again, seen lots of trailers for things. Yeah, that I mean, bad, and hopefully it turns out great. Yeah, I, I don't want to be Debbie Downer here, but but because it could be great. You know, this is just a, a a quick glimpse. I've seen like you trailers that don't work. This trailer didn't work for me this morning. Maybe next day or day after no it ain't gonna work for me tomorrow either (laughs) maybe the next trailer will work yes i'm gonna keep my fingers crossed for that but we'll see anyway guys the question is for you what did you think of the trailer for the pentaveret i am so thrilled they made this i I just didn't like the trailer hopefully the show is much much better than the trailer what did you guys think of it jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. Now guys, does it make sense that the same company who controls half the online retail also passively eavesdrops on your private conversations at home? Or what about the idea that a single company controls 90% of the internet searches, runs your email service, and gets to track everything you do on your smartphone? You guys know that big tech is more powerful than most countries are, and they profit by exploiting your personal data. It's time to put a layer of protection between your online activity and these tech juggernauts. And that's why I use ExpressVPN. You see, when you run ExpressVPN on your device, the software hides your IP address, something that big tech companies can use to personally identify you. So ExpressVPN makes your activity harder to trace and sell to advertisers. ExpressVPN also encrypts 100% of your internet data to keep you safe from hackers and eavesdroppers on your network. So stop handing over your personal data to the big tech monopoly that mines your activity and sells your information. Protect yourself with the VPN that I I trust to keep me safe online. Visit expressvpn.com slash campia. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S vpn.com slash campia to get three extra months free. Go to expressvpn.com slash campia right now to learn more. 